If you want to see what products I got from Joe Fresh, then stick around. Hi there, it's Elan, and I have a little treat that I got myself, and that is in the rare occasion that I go out, I was at the grocery store yesterday and the grocery store I go to is a huge grocery store called Superstore, President's Choice Superstore to be exact here in Canada. And I had a big list, I mean a big list. I was making a grocery run that was supposed to last us or supposed to last us for at least three weeks. And I happened to go by the clearance section in the superstore and I scored. One of them, actually I'll go get it because I was not going to include that in the video, but I think you'd be curious to see, so hang on. Okay, I'm back. I got two of these. This is the Prosecco and uh, Rose, one's in French, one's in English. Uh, two big, I think they're three wick, candles. Yeah, three wick candles. And these candles were just too much of a price tag for me uh, to pick up when they were a regular price, but I noticed them in the discount bin and they ended up being $6.97 each and they're 14 ounce candles, uh, 396 grams to be exact for we metric folks. And I'm super, super happy. And I love the smell. It's like, um, it's, it's a light, clean scent with a hint of rose. And I think that for a bathroom, it is a beautiful scent. And I love the fact that it has a lid. And I keep my bottoms of wax candles and whatnot and refill with wick that I have myself. And I think this is a beautiful container to reuse. So I'm super happy. Well, in that same bin area of clearance items, I came upon some Joe Fresh. And Joe Fresh is a makeup line that I have talked about on this channel before. I will put a video right here of the brand new focus I did on Joe Fresh. And let me just show you a few products that I have. So I have tried the Joe Fresh uh, nail polish. So I have four of those. I have a black cherry, a mojito, which is kind of green, uh, more of a pinky peach, and a beigey peach as, um, as uh, nail polish. So this one is called Petal Melon and you heard my other two. And I have a whack of uh, lip glosses. These are the three that I have left uh, and you can see that there's, you may be able to see, I can see through the ring light, um, they have had a fair amount of use. And I also have this one which is right here which I'm just starting to use as part of a panning project. If you want to see that project I'll put it right there. And so I have some nail polish, I have lip products, and if you watch that other Joe Fresh video I just linked, I have tried a ton of this line and I think that the value, especially when it's going on clearance so regularly, is awesome. So let me talk first off about the lip products that I got. I love the lip gloss. I find it very comfortable. I find it lasts a fair amount. And again, it's very inexpensive. So I got these for, I think, $3 each or $2.94, I think it was. And this one is uh, Candy. And let me just open it right along with you here. So satisfying to open a product, isn't it? So here is candy. Oh, it's still, it's got a, they really make sure that you can't open it. There we go. Got it. Okay. So here is candy, which looks really, really nice. 
Here we go. And they don't really smell like anything. So it's not, there's no, there's just, there's really no smell to them. Um, but candy is very pretty. And then one that I know I will love the color of because I love this one, which is Sweet Nectar. And they're not that, that different from each other as far as being a, a neutral color. And this one is Nude Glaze. So let's, let's open that one up. And here we go. Cracking that one open. And I don't mind the doe foot. I'll show you in just a second when I do the swatch. Oh, it's very close to my skin color here. I don't know how much you'll be able to see. I just want to show you the doe foot. I, it's a standard doe foot and I really like it. Okay, so let's take a look at that color. Right there, isn't it pretty? So I'm really happy to have gotten these uh, lip glosses for, and this is only three mil by the way, there's not a whole lot in it, uh, but for $2.94, I'll take it. I think that that's perfectly fine as a price. And speaking of lips, I also picked up a product that I'm not familiar with from Joe Fresh, which is a lip liner and primer. And I'm just starting to use uh, lip primers. I'm using the, I think I have it out. No, I don't anymore. Um, I just started using the Sephora lip primer and I really like it. And, um, and now I want to try this one. It's like it was double wrapped. It was, it was double wrapped. Look at this. Here's one wrapping. And you see how the other one is still here? It was double wrapped. Holy cow, no wonder I was having trouble opening it. I was feeling like a weakling today. Okay, holy cow, it's still on the on the cap, but I can open it for you. Oh, okay, cool. I couldn't see what it was in the store, but it looks like a, yeah, a typical lip liner slash um, a lip primer. So that's great. And it looks like it is, it would be, yeah, it doesn't turn, so it's going to be one that you sharpen, which is fine. Okay, managed to get the plastic off the cap, so this is what it looks like. And how much is in here? I think this one was four bucks. Um, and I don't see an amount. No, I don't see an amount on here, but I'm quite happy to try another lip primer because I don't uh, tend to buy them and I've just started trying to see the benefit and uh, and using them so that I can have lip products that don't bleed as much or at least that that grip onto something underneath. So let's do a little swatch. I don't think it's going to do very much, but let's do a little swatch. See how it feels. Okay, yeah, it does definitely smooth. And it does look like it's hard to see, but it does definitely smooth. The way I see it is the lines on my hand have been completely blurred uh, by this pencil, which is great. So it gives you a smooth canvas and I can feel it being tacky. So it's going to definitely grip onto uh, the lip product that I put over top. So that is what I was hoping for. So I'm happy to have this. Awesome. I'll be curious to compare the Joe Fresh line as well to e.l.f. because it's kind of in the same price range now that they've they're really discounting and eliminating the line. So if you can, if you're interested in these Joe Fresh products, uh, poke around to see if uh, you have them around because they they're probably on heavy discount. So the last three that I have to show you are nail polishes, and none of them are similar to what I had in my collection, and I only kept it to a few colors that I knew for sure I did not have in my collection. And the first one is a nice pastel because we are in that kind of a time of year right now. Spring is great for pastels. And this one is called Dusty Lilac. And I think that's a really good uh, name for this color. And it's a different 
kind of um, nail polish from what I have purchased so far from Joe Fresh. They are gel look nail polishes, whereas the other ones just showed up as um, Joe Fresh and nothing else. So I'm curious to see what these are going to be like. And they are six mil each, so they are um, mini uh, nail polish containers. This second one resembles one that I have, but it is not the same. And this one is called Kiwi. And I'm really into that kind of a color. I like chartreuse or chartreuse. And this makes me think of that. And then I have um, another one that is also a kind of a greeny um, yellow and well, more mint green, really. So they're very, very different as far as I'm concerned, color wise. So I wasn't worried about an overlap there. Curious to try this kiwi color for sure. And finally, a third one that is complementary but not the same as my, this is my old one, this is the new one. Um, my old one was Black Cherry and this one is called Gothic Blue, which I think is a really good name for this color. So I got these um, three, and I think that they were three bucks each, if I'm not mistaken, which $3 Canadian is about half of what you would expect for a good uh, discounted nail polish price to be. So I was really happy to find um, these three as additions to my nail polish collection. So I'm really pleased with those finds. They were unexpected, but they were quite a nice silver lining to have to go out into a grocery store where that is a public place that you have to go to, but you don't really want to go to. So it was a really, I don't know, it was, it felt like a, a treat for completing a task that I was not super crazy about doing in the first place, if that makes sense. So that's it. A total of eight products. That is two candles, three lip products, and three nail polishes that were a fun find in the clearance section of my local superstore, huge, huge grocery store. I, yeah, it really brought me joy, and I'm wondering if you have had a chance in your rare outings these days to find a little something to brighten up your day. I would love to hear your story in the comments. Please uh, let me know. And I thank you so much for watching, making it all the way uh, to the end of this video, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. But for now, take care.